Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video. And as you can see, this is a drawing video. I am drawing Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club. But anyways, um, I'm just going to explain a little bit of problems I had originally with this character and the color. Everything else was fine, but like, it was just the color palette because the picture I based her, I based it on, it was like dark brown or dark purplish color, and I couldn't find what, the perfect colors for it until I had this burgundy-ish like color. I found out, and so what I did was that I just used a couple of purples and then two browns to make the jacket look like the one in the image. I'm gonna probably put a link, if not, down below. More likely not. Alright, and then... The skirt, because it's navy. It was a bit... Of a hassle, because... I had to find out the right colors just to put for it. The light blue... Was different. I had to use, like, very, very dark blue colors. Even though they didn't really turn out as dark as I thought they would. And it still made the character more vibrant and more anime-like. But, like... Just that the only thing that doesn't really match well is the skirt. But sooner or later, once I start adding a bit of purple, then it will. But right now, I'm not getting to the skirt. I'm holding the camera with my hand because... I had lighting problems. Because... As you can see right there, the stand didn't look so well until, like, I went to the floor instead of the table. Anyways, um, the vest that I'm coloring in now was easy to do. It was just simple. I needed a couple of red and then oranges and browns. A little bit of purple and then for the shirt under I used it. The light blue and the light violet. And now I'm getting to the skirt. As you can see, look, these are the colors I used and like they were too bright. But like I decided to stick with it either way and like started making it dark. It wasn't until it got to like purple that I started using the purple that it looked better. It looked a little bit darker though, which was better. But anyways, the eyes were also a bit of a hassle too. It was it was pretty easy though. <laughs> it was it was it was just all a matter if I could make a good blend of magenta with the purple copic I had, and it worked out well so far. You'll see in a bit. You can't really tell, but like, once I start adding the copic, you'll be able to see. It probably already did, either way. <laughs> Anyways, I'm coloring in the mouth and then the tongue. The, the, everything else was pretty easy. The sweater took me a long time to do. But then, we're getting to the skin. I didn't really need a lot of colors. I just, I just got out the first three original colors I had and I added a little bit of purple to it to make it look warm. I used like one yellow. Because sh the stereotype. Because she's Asian. But like, you, you'll see it in a bunch of anime too that it's some shade of yellow that they use too. And now the knife? The knife wasn't really bad. Because like, I've practiced with metal before. I'm not really like that good. The only problem was that I kind of messed up right there. I accidentally shaded in the gray things when I was supposed to leave it dark, but oh well. Now I'm getting to coloring the hair. The hair was easy too. It was. I just needed. I just found like the same purple I used for the coat, and then a bit darker, and I used the same Copic, the blue violet, B O V seven, I think. And so far, it turned out pretty well. I mean, just just look at it. <laughs> look how it's coming out right now. You see that? This this the face. Someone ready to boot. Now this thing's coming out probably either Christmas Eve or on Christmas. More likely, it's gonna come out Christmas because I have to like release it, and make sure that it's real, like it's ready. Since we're gonna be up until Christmas, until like one in the morning or something. I might, I might do, uh, uh, I am probably, may or may not have done a live stream before the, I posted this video. It all depends on how I felt. Yeah, and you can see there, she's starting to look a bit more, like her hair looks a bit too silky. I try to change that a bit, but then, 
I decided to stick with it too. Because it looked cool in real life. It, it looks way cooler than it does on the camera. Now I'm getting to adding the blood on her hands first and then her cheeks. Blood drops. I'm not an expert at drawing the blood. But I, I was looking off Jordan Presagati since he's like fascinated with creepypastas and draws blood every, a lot and more than I do. I tried copying what he does too. Except that I'm very limited in colors. I have one red, two browns, and then one orange. I use those. But I still like how it came out. It all looked just perfect though. The way it looks. Man. You guys can see the full image on DVNR. I'll put a link in the description below. If you guys want. But anyways. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I gotta add. What I did right here for the knife, though. I added, like, just gray. I just sm mashed the gray everywhere. And that was, that was all it. I smudged it. And it made it look more realistic. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And if you want more drawings like this, then please be sure to leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Saf one Channel 3 out. Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to another video. And...